Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall?
Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven is not... <laughs> Lady Craven is not who she... You're here, at last. I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please, help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You are the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted.
everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. Do you think she stole the stone? It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. A remarkably simple lock. <sighs> Fard Rouge Calamel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the travelling temptress. A neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? Hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. Virtus or Dactus Apit. Courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. Someone was not happy with his post. I doubt I can help with this. Stop wasting time. The murderer is getting away. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? It's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewellery that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Do something about it, Holmes. I... 
I did not do it. You know that. Sorry. Maybe a guest noticed him. Now you're in your element, Sherry. Pardon, Monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Can you satisfy my curiosity? That's a question I can answer. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm so sorry. I can't help you, sir. Excuse me, just one question. Uh, don't take it personally, sir. Uh, but I know nothing about this. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. I need to talk to him about the events of the seance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or, or weapons and defences against visitors. From the great beyond. A familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time there's enough for analysis. Hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame the man? I'd say he's not ordering enough.
My faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure this spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh, no, wait. What am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. I, I am not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I... In fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh well, at least I can make the dead talk. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. The spirits are silent, and so am I. Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. This object simply isn't resonating with me. The spirits are silent, and so am I. 
That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewellery.
Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... you are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... I... Ha. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes. I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink. All I suffered while she indulged. And I grabbed her throat. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you, in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness. So we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything. Even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Hmm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? Ah, uh, a figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, <sighs> damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for.